Been on the road for 12 months with the support of the MUA to build this movement for the Uluru Statement and I thought one of the most powerful things I could do was share with the Australian people some of the voices of the wonderful Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people that I'd met around the country to help people to listen to the ordinary but extraordinary voices of our people that they wouldn't normally hear. This is heart politics and that's where we need to be. There's 20 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders interviewed in my book and all of them have experienced racism and also what was in common was the hope. It wasn't lamenting the issues of the past, it was the truth. It was this is what has happened to us and this is what we want to do about it and this is what we want the Australian people to do to support us. The book is such an important tool in conveying the message to the people about the truth of Australian history and why a voice enshrined in the Constitution is so important about addressing unfinished business. All the social indicators in the last three or four years are bad, they're getting worse. So that's why we want a voice in the parliament that is there and cannot be chucked out by an elected government. Constitutional convention coming from all points of the southern sky make this statement from the heart. Our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander tribes were the first sovereign nations of the Australian continent and its adjacent island trek across this vast country. We invite you to walk with us in a movement of the Australian people for a better future. So that's your response. This book is a very good start for people to get a simple understanding of some personal stories and a collective desire for change.